my dear friends in Christ Jesus um, today is the 11th Sunday in the ordinary time today's uh, main uh, focus is uh, that Jesus sends his disciples to drive out demons to cure the sick and to proclaim the kingdom of God. The first reading speaks about how God expressed his love for his people Israel. You are precious to me. God said to Israel not only through words but also he, God proved his love for the people of Israel through the actions of love by delivering them from the slavery in Egypt by guiding them in the desert and by through various miraculous ways God uh, showed his love for them. The second reading Saint Paul reminds us that we be always uh, that we are the uh, chosen ones of God. We are precious to God. While we were sinners, God showed His mercy upon us that He sent His only Son who died for us and who uh, did reparation for our sins. And through sending His only Son to us, God expressed His love for us. God tells us that we are very precious to Him. In the Gospel we see how Jesus sends His apostles to preach the kingdom of God. But then before sending, Jesus sees that they are undergoing training. So before somebody is sent, one must become a disciple. In order that one becomes a disciple, one must undergo training, formation through different situations, through different uh, experiences, by facing hardships, by encountering people and it's through various occasions that one becomes uh, trained, uh, that, that one is able to go and preach the kingdom of God to the people in the way God, God wants. Jesus sends his disciples mainly to drive out demons, to cast out evil spirit. Have we, have we come across such instances where you encounter some evil spirit, where you encounter some demons? In, in your ordinary daily life. You must, I suppose you may not have encountered an evil spirit or demons, but then surely you have come across uh, people who get agitated so often, so, who become aggressive, who uh, abuse who uses abusive words 
who become rebellious and then such person become uh, someone who is always uh, somebody who uh, who distracts us and such persons become a fearful figure for us and we fight against those person who are very aggressive who rebel who are rebellious but then don't forget that our encountering such persons it's not the persons that we encounter it is the evil spirit that we encounter such persons who become rebellious aggressive using abusive words they are in a way uh, innocent people but then it is through them that the demons or the evil spirit act they are in a spiritual bondage because they are in a spiritual bondage they act like devilish they uh, become rebellious they always speak ill of others so we should be compassionate to those person because it is not they who act like that but the evil spirit who are active in them we need to pray for them we need to pray for them we need to be compassionate to them because they are in a spiritual bondage jesus sent his apostles to cure the sick we fall sick when we fall sick we all on a sudden go to hospitals we buy medicines but then how many of us are there to approach a priest for blessing how many of us have the faith to approach a bishop for a blessing of course when you fall sick you need to you need to approach a doctor for for medication but then be, first what we need to do is to gain a blessing from a priest or a bishop how many of us have the faith in the holy water holy water when it is sprinkled we get sanctified we receive healing demons go out we receive purification we need to believe in the system that functions in the church which is established by christ the disciples are sent out to cure the sick healing takes place during mass healing takes place during adoration we need to believe that healing takes place through the intercession of the saintly people the disciples are sent out to proclaim the the proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is at hand proclamation should begin at home jesus said should not go to the gentiles but the disciples are advised to go first to the people of israel meaning 
the proclamation first must take place in the families today we are celebrating the father's day the head of the family is the father and it is the most responsibility of the parents especially the father to proclaim jesus in the family by words by deeds by his own personality the virtues the values that he shares with the wife and the children that's how the proclamation of the kingdom of heaven happens in the family among the loved ones among the relatives and jesus said without a cause you have received without a cause you are to give everybody is blessed with the life let us be thankful to god for the life let us be thankful to god for the good health of mind and body let us be thankful to god that with the grace of god that we are present here it is by the grace of god that we are alive it is the grace of god that we enjoy faith in the lord so what we have received the qualities the abilities the talents the life the faith the love the compassion everything is from god so let us expand it let us extend it let us share it freely without expecting anything in return my dear brothers and sisters we all of us are sent out to become the missionaries to become the proclam to to proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is at hand that god is at work god is among us